this isn't a yo-yo this isn't a fad this is about me having the tools to know how to be the best that i can be moving forward It was something that had yo-yoed for years, um, but had yo-yoed slightly getting higher with the base yo-yo. Um, it was something that had slowly crept up and up and up. Um, I was feeling lethargic and was lacking motivation, really. Just to think confidence in yourself. Yeah, I think you still have that lack of confidence if you don't feel comfortable in yourself and in your own body. Um, um, you know, I coach my son's football team and also feel that, you know, the, the boys, for example, at under 11 are an age that are very role model-ish and very influenced on, on, on people that are, are sort of teaching them, coaching them and, and that they're learning from. So I was also very mindful of that, that as somebody that is coaching them should be seen as setting a good example as well. I was at the point where I just turned 50. Um, my daughter's just had her first child. So I've become a, a pops, as I like to call it, rather than a granddad. Um, I've still got two kids of my own that are 12 and 10 um, and they're going to be doing, not that they don't do enough sports wise anyway, but they do a lot. And historically, I've always been sporty. And looking back now, I've maybe used excuses of having dodgy knees, etc, cetera, etc, cetera, for a reason not to not to focus on my health and to let my health maybe go away a little bit um and i got to the point where i just i wanted to do something for me that i can sustain i tried many things before as well i mean i think i think the first thing that drew me to it was that this wasn't a diet this wasn't a fad this was about trying to change the way that i live on a daily basis a weekly basis a monthly basis to have something that's sustainable moving forward um but without the concept and the thought of just living on lettuce leaves for a week or two weeks Yeah, I did. Yeah, um, I had hesitations about putting the time in. I would have hesitated about the cost. Um, but fundamentally, I think at the end of the day, you can't put value on your health. And um, in reflection, 12 weeks later, that cost for what I've done over the 12 weeks and how that's now going to be built into my future life, um, is minuscule compared to, to the things that I've learned and the things that will be part of my future life. The thing that I did like was that it was done in bite-sized chunks. So not everything was thrown at you in week one. There were certain elements in week one, then certain elements in week two, three, four, and even going through, you know, to weeks sort of eight, nine, and 10, there were still extra bits coming into it that hadn't been thrown completely at you in week one. So it was those small, small steps. And it sounds very cheesy me saying it, and it sounds like I'm uh, I'm pushing marketing, but yes, follow what the program says and it will work. Um, I'd originally set myself a stone target. So going from 87 down to about 80K. Um, I'm now at 77, so I've gone through that by an extra 3K, which is great. Um, 
I'm now setting new targets. Again, I just now find that what I'm doing is built into my everyday. It's, it's natural. So um, I don't feel as if I'm actually following a daily plan now because it's actually in my head what I need to do on a daily basis. So absolutely um, ecstatic. I can't remember off the top of my head what my waist measurement was at the start. I know this morning when I measured it, it was 35 inch. So I'm sure it's four or five inches I've lost around the waist. Unfortunately, from a cost perspective, I'm having to change my wardrobe now. Um, so I'm, I'm, I'm going down from large to medium, et cetera, et cetera, um, which is all a great, great positive. And I have no intention of going back to the sizes that are above. Uh, energy levels are through the roof and that's that's again without sounding cheesy um sleep at night i never had a problem going to sleep i'm one of these people that my my head will hit the pillow and i'm gone um but the sleep would be broken um i'm now going to sleep and i'm out like a light until i wake up in the morning so sleep is definitely better um energy levels are better the, and the biggest difference i can feel is on my knees so ironically as i've mentioned before i've got um arthritis in my knees from playing too much football when i was younger but they have massively improved and biggest compliment to me is that i still run a vets football team um i run it and generally for the last 18 months I've not come on and I've used again my knees as an excuse. We've played two friendlies recently and I've I've played the last 25 minutes and people are saying, wow, I can't believe how much energy energy and, and pace and that you've got back. So um yeah, it's it's it it it, it is I'm a different, totally different person. I am a different person at the minute. the structure and knowledge to continue this for the rest of my life rather than it being a 12-week diet that's that's the key thing i'm in business development um you know i'm all about sales bringing business in and and you know as well and it's ironic you can't you can't separate easily what happens in life in terms of, for me, I can't work in personal life and carrying that confidence and that exuberance over from personal into business obviously has a positive effect because feeling great, feeling good about myself and therefore that exudes when I'm talking to other people. Open your, open yourself to exploring it and believe in what Adam and Kel say. It is difficult to believe people. There are lots of things out there where people say, oh, if you do this and do that, it, believe me, if you follow the program, if you, if you do what it says you need to do, you'll get where you need to get.